The Philippines will consider accepting United States Coast Guard Hamilton-class cutter if offered by the United States. However, the Philippines will not actively request for the transfer, National Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said. We will not actively ask for it. PAG offer Nila Saatin to Tignan Natan Kung Paber Saatin Secretary Lorenzana said, as quoted by Manila Bulletin. The United States government is in the process of replacing Hamilton-class cutters with Legend-class cutters. Nine Hamilton-class cutters were already decommissioned and transferred to Philippines, Vietnam, Nigeria, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. Three are already in active Philippine Navy service. BRP Gregorio Del Pilar, minus 15 francs, BRP Ramon Alcaraz, minus 16 francs, and BRP Andres Bonifacio, minus 17 francs. Three more Hamilton-class cutters are in active U.S. Coast Guard service. Definitely, Hindi Teo Hihingi Piro if they are going to offer it to us, we will look at it first Kung Magkano Ba Ang Aiding Gagastusan Paramap Attack Boyan Lorenzana said. The repair cost is also very big. We'll look at it Muna Bago Natan Tangapin. Lorenzana made the remark as the United States Coast Guard gradually phases out its Hamilton-class cutters from its inventory. We will not actively ask for it. Tag offer Nila Saatin to Tignan Natan Kung Paber Saatin if they offer it to us, we will look at it and see if it will favor us Lorenzana said. Definitely, Hindi Teo Hihingi Piro if they are going to offer it to us, we will look at it first Kung Magkano Ba Ang Aiding Gagastusan Para Map Attack Boyan. We will not ask for it. But if offered, we will check how much it will cost to operate then he added. Lorenzana said there is a need to carefully look at the ships because it cost a lot to repair them. The repair cost is also very big. We'll look at it Muna Bago Natan Tangapin before we accept it he said, the US Coast Guard has a total of 12 Hamilton-class cutters for decommissioning. Nine of the 12 cutters has so far been decommissioned and went to Vietnam. Just last year, the US Coast Guard transferred a Hamilton-class cutter to the Vietnam Coast Guard during a ceremony in Hawaii. The former high-endurance cutter Morgenthau, WEC 722, was originally commissioned in 1969 and was decommissioned in mid-April 2018, ahead of the planned transfer. The U.S. Coast Guard has three Hamilton-class cutters still to be decommissioned. Way back 2015, the Philippines already have two Del Pilar class frigates in its inventory. Apparently, the discussion of additional ships does not only stop to buy another one, but also focusing on the possibility of procuring two more. It was then noted in the Coast Guard Acquisition Directorate way back 2011, upon the purchase of BRP Gregorio Del Pilar, that the Philippines opted to buy three more ships, aside from Del Pilar. That in which arises the possibility of having a fourth Hamilton cutter in the Philippine Navy. It is known that on the date this article is written, the Navy already has its third Del Pilar class frigate BRP Andres Bonifacio, minus 17 francs, painted gray, and was sent to Malaysia for and having three Del Pilar frigates in the inventory, having a fourth one seem like a possibility where in Twitter, the United States Coast Guard reportedly will decommission USCGC Morgenthau, WEX 722. In this case, one may ask about the idea of obtaining it for spares or having it as a whole, where it can complement other vessels. Given the present situation between the US and the Philippines, as well as the respective policies both governments undertake, it seems that it may be less possible for any materialization to take place. Not to mention that aside from the Philippines itself, there are also other nations that are after the USCGC Morgenthau, which it may potentially be either Bangladesh or Nigeria, which are also obtaining ex-Hamiltons in their navies. 
In this case, however, will remain to be seen as there will be several changes without prior notice or other things for that matter where it may favor the Philippines or not. Speaking of which, it is at best to keep a close watch for any updates about this ship's decommission and its fate. Moreover, the AFP modernization program, through the Philippine Navy's sail plan, it really calls to procure only three Del Piler class frigates, rather than four vessels for that matter. With regards of using it as an active vessel alongside the other Del Pilar class frigates, one may say that it is a necessity where the Philippine Navy badly needs more hulls to do its mandate to patrol the longest of coastline, this archipelagic nation obtains in the sense that upon the presumption of rotational patrols in an idealistic scenario, such vessels may be seen on patrol in different areas of concern, ranging from the Sulu Sea to Bashi Channel, or rather from Benham Rise to the West Philippine Sea, wherein aside from several Coast Guard vessels, these ships will further enhance presence when it is needed. This is, on the maintenance view wherein on all these ships obtained, there will be two of these frigates that are available for patrols, one in a dock for minor repairs as well for reinforcement, and one on dry dock for major repairs. And it is done at a routine. This is, assuming that a fourth cutter was received and became an active vessel. Meanwhile, using the cutter as a spare parts stash where the ship will be cannibalized and scrapped while any usable parts will be used for the other ships to operate, is also a good idea, considering that these 1960s era X Hamilton cutters don't have any producers of spares where all of those are gone long ago. Speaking of which, it will be worthless for the other Del Piler ships, considering that its already long lifespan will be further lengthened through this idea, which it was already done against old World War II vessels the Philippine Navy have where ships decommissioned to be cannibalized in order for the other ships to keep on operating and doing its mandate, wherein as part of the sail plan, newer hulls may give the chance for old ships to take its rest. In the case of the Del Piler class vessels, the spare parts will help them operate at longer periods of time, considering that being a stopgap offshore patrol vessel, it improves naval capabilities with regards of safeguarding the waters better than the older World War II era ones, while newer vessels are planned, and yet to be materialized if ever anything goes well. <laughs>